Welcome to the Warframe Weapon Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Dual Ether. You can get the blueprint for the Dual Ether from the market, and since they are a very old weapon, they are exceptionally cheap. Now, the Dual Ether are a pair of Master Rank 8 dual swords that do primarily slash damage with only a little bit of impact and puncture on the side. They come in with good attack speed, solid crit chance, standard crit multiplier, very good status, and standard range. As far as the build is concerned, I like to go with this one, which is a pretty straightforward hybrid. We have pressure point for some damage. Damage. If you feel like you can make condition overload worth it, you can go for that. Blood Rush for the crit chance, Berserker Fury for attack speed, current is mandible to bump up slash and also add some status, and then two dual stat mods and drifting contact. Now I know some people like to go with unranked dual stat mods and then run weeping wounds instead of current is mandible on these kinds of weapons, but I don't like it because it lowers the upfront damage too much for my liking. Now this weapon is actually quite exquisite when it comes to damage, you're going to be sitting in orange crit territory most of the time with an occasional yellow crit here and there. And that combined with really good base damage on the dual ether, very high status chance and the stances for dual swords which are absolutely fabulous, they have a ton of multi hits and an occasional forced slash prog here and there, results in an absolute truck ton of damage. Plus it's basically all slash and viral so it doesn't really matter what faction you're fighting or what type of unit in that faction you're fighting, it's gonna do great damage against everything. Now, this is one of the most underrated weapons in the entire game, and that's actually kind of a good thing, because despite it being really strong to begin with, it has very high Riven disposition. So even though the Dual Aether are not the best Dual Sword, if you get a really good Riven with a fantastic set of rolls, it could be. So I'm definitely going to recommend the Dual Ether. They're absolutely fantastic to begin with. You can do pretty much everything with them, even without a Riven. You can blast through the entire Star Chart, do Nightmare Fissure missions, as well as Sortie missions. You can jump into Arbitrations and even do Steel Path. They actually shred Acolytes really well. But then, on top of all of that, if that's not enough for you, you can get a Riven, which isn't going to be super expensive, because, as I've said, the Dual Ether, not very popular, extremely underrated. I don't actually remember if I ever saw anyone with the Dual Ether in the game. So go ahead and pick the Dual Ether up, and it doesn't matter if you're a newer player, because for you it's gonna be a fantastic weapon that's gonna carry you through pretty much the entire game as far as melee is concerned, and if you're a more advanced endgame player you can start playing around with the Rivens and supercharge them to infinity. Hell, even if you end up not liking the Dual Ether, it's not like you spent a fortune to build them. They are extremely cheap. And that is pretty much all there is to say, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.